Look at the picture behind me. It is from the G20 finance ministers meeting in India. They are women leading some of the biggest economies in the world. From the right, it is India's finance minister, Nirmala Sitraman, Indonesia's finance minister, Mulyani Indrawati, United States Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, Deputy Managing Director of International Monetary Fund, Gita Gopinath, Canadian Finance Minister, Christia Freelnant, and lastly, Managing Director of the IMF, Kristalina Georgieva. They discuss critical global economic challenges facing our world, including the threats posed by climate change and rising debt. The group of 20 major economies also decoded how geopolitics could hurt economies, like the Russia-Ukraine war. Even in the 21st century, women are mostly absent from financial sectors. Economy forums are usually dominated with men and their black suits. But these women are changing the norm. Women head the International Monetary Fund, the World Trade Organization, the U.S. Treasury, and the European Central Bank. However, more broadly, women remain a small minority in this field. According to Women in Economics Initiative's 2022 index, women represent from 10% to 24% of the top global positions in economics. The reasons are complex, to say the least. Economics entails a lot of mathematics and analytical thinking. And there's a cliche that men are better at those, which is not true. This is discouraging for women. And those who still choose the field face discrimination, where they are not promoted to the highest ranks. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.